Let's take a look at the 1D Array practice example called Combine. In this example, two arrays are being combined into one. The method receives two array parameters, list1 and list2, creates a third array whose length is the sum of the lengths of both parameter arrays. The loop is then supposed to load the values from both arrays into the new one, with the values from list1 going first, and then the values from list2 next. The question is what the loop body should be to make this happen correctly. Let's try some sample client code that calls this method and trace through the process. Here you see two arrays called list A and list B, each containing several values. A third array called list C is then created by calling the combined method and sending list A and list B in as parameters. The returned result will be an array containing all of the values from list A and list B. The formal parameter in the method receives the array from list A, and list 2 receives the array from list B. A new array called result is created by using the combined lengths of list 1 and list 2, 3, and 4, to make an array of length 7. The values of list 1 go into the positions 0, 1, and 2 of the result array, and then the values of list 2 go into the positions 3, 4, 5, and 6 of the result array. The four choices given all start the same way, using a loop that traverses the result array from position 0 to position 6, with an if statement checking to see if the value of i, the loop control variable, is less than the length of list 1, which is 3. This means that when the value of i is 0, 1, or 2, the if statement is true and the array result will be assigned the values from list 1 in positions 0, 1, and 2 of the result array. When the value of i reaches the length of the first list, it means we've cleaned out the first list and are ready to load the second one. The if condition is false now. The trick is how to get the values of list 2 into the proper positions of the result array. The action of the else statement needs to put the value in position 0 of list 2 into position 3 of the result array. We need an expression that will do this correctly, not just for position 3, but also for positions 4, 5, and 6 of the result array, receiving values from positions 1, 2, and 3 of list 2. This expression must be based on the changing value of i and the length of the first array. Position 3 of result gets position 0 of list 2. Position 4 of result gets position 1 of list 2. Position 5 of result gets position 2 of list 2. And finally, position 6 of result gets position 3 of list 2. Do you see a common relationship here? The positions are all off by 3, the length of the first array. If you do a subtraction process using the value of i minus the length of the first array, you will get the correct corresponding position of list 2. So the correct expression is that result, position i, receives the value of list 2, position i minus the length of list 1.